Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turbo. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the Gon. In today's video, we will talk about polygons. This one is a good topic for those students who are learning or studying within geometry. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's define first what is a polygon. Polygon is a two-dimensional closed figure that is the union of line segments in a plane. So I know now you're familiar with those shapes under polygon because you already encountered that during your elementary days, even in grade 4, grade 5, grade 6, grade 7, mathematics. So, ano, para mas madali maintindihan, uh, some of the examples are triangles, rectangles, those are examples of polygons. So, we have here two classifications of polygons. The first one is the regular polygon and the irregular polygon. And later on, meron pa tayong different classifications. So, let's start with the regular polygon. What is the difference between these two polygons? When you say regular polygons, I think kanyang ano, characteristics, all interior angles are equal. Again, all interior angles are equal. And the second characteristic is that all sides are equal. So let's go first with all interior angles are equal. So when you say um, regular polygon, these are the angles. We have angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, angle E, angle F. So as you can see, the markings here, they have the same markings. When you encounter a regular polygon, automatically, all the angles are equal. So if they are equal, we can say that angle A is congruent or equal to angle B is congruent to angle C is equal to or congruent to angle D and this one is also congruent to angle E and also congruent to angle F. So again, ang ibig sabihin po niyan, if you have a regular polygon, lahat ng angles nila sa interior ay equal. So let's move on with the next characteristic. All sides are equal. So as you can see, we have your side ED, side DC, side BC, side AB, side AF, and side FE. As you can see, we have here the same markings. We have one uh, dash here or mark marking in each line. It indicates that those sides have the same measurement. So we can conclude that side, let's start with AB. We have side AB is congruent or equal to side BC and also congruent to side CD. And side C is also congruent to side DE. And they are also congruent to side EF. And that is also congruent to side FA or AF. Yun yung basic characteristic pag sinabi natin regular polygon. Again, all the sides are equal and all the interior angles are equal. So let's move on with the next one. Kung ito yung karakteristik sa ating regular, ng regular polygon, syempre, kabalita na siya ng karakteristik sa ating irregular polygon. When you say regular polygon, the interior angles are not all equal. Possible na may dalawang angles na equal, possible naman na tatlo, pero hindi lahat ay equal. Ayun yung kabalita rin ng property or karakteristik ng regular polygon. And aside from that, sides may be different in terms of length. Kabalita rin naman siya ng property dito na, or characteristic, which is all sides are equal. As you can see, ito yung itsura ng example ng irregular polygon. Yung DC natin is longer than CB and AB and same with FA, so EF. So, in other words, yung characteristics ng irregular polygon are the opposites of, or the complete opposite of the characteristics of irregular polygon. So, in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you the other um, classification of a polygon and I will give you the different parts of a polygon. Now, here's the next classification of polygons. We have the convex and the concave polygon. This one is quite familiar with some of the topics or questionnaires that I encountered 
na pinapa-identify, uh, tell whether the given polygon is convex and concave. Ang tanong, what is the difference? So, una, a basic na kailangan gawin dito is para ma-identify nyo is that yung ating yung ating sides ay pwede nyo siya nga i-extend. Okay, extend natin ito ng konti. Hanggat makakakrate tayo ng line. Punta naman natin yung ating uh, concave polygon. Uh, look at this side of this polygon. Kapag in-extend natin siya, as you can see, meron tayong extension na pumapasok sa, ano, sa mismong loob ng polygon. Ibig sabihin, siya isang concave. Kasi pansin nyo, na-intersect na ating extension yung mismong uh, interior ng given polygon na to. While in a convex polygon, when you extended um, a side of this polygon, wala, hindi mo mapasok yung ating extension within the interior of the polygon. And another thing na pwede nyo makita is the difference between concave and con convex is that meron tayo ito parang cave na nabubuo. Meron tayo itong parang cave na nabuo. Where in sa convex, wala. Di ba kaya nga siya tinawag na concave? Kasi meron siyang cave na nabubuo sa, sa labas. And another thing, uh, one of the angles here is a reflex angle. Again, one of the angles here is a reflex angle, meaning this angle, the interior angle, is greater than 180. While here, if you will do a measurement of the interior angles of this convex polygon, or this polygon, para masabi mo siyang convex, dapat yung mga interior angles niya is greater than 0, but less than 180 degrees. So, you hope na nag-gets na yung ibig sabihin about this. So, ito yung tsura ng convex, at ito naman yung tsura ng ating convex, a uh, concave polygon. So, let's move on with the different parts of polygon. I have here a polygon A, B, C, D, and E, in which this one is an example of regular pentagon. So, later on, I will explain back to the pentagon. So, what are the different parts? First, we have here, like ito ng no, O. Yung first part natin, yung sa gitna, that is your center. Your center of the polygon is point O. Again, your center of polygon is point O. Okay? So, next naman natin ay yung sides. For the sides of the polygon, sides, we have side AB, side BC, side CD, tapos meron tayong side D, and lastly, we have side EA or EE. Since ito ay isang uh, five-sided polygon, so ibig sabihin natin five sides. And another thing na pwede nyo matandaan dito is yung tinatawag natin radius. Yung radius natin ay lima. We have uh, radius OD from the center uh, up, to the up to the vertices. OD, we have segment OD, we have radius or segment OC, we have segment OB, kung saan tayo sa letter A pala, sorry, A, radius OA, or, and then this is OB, this is OC, next is OD, and lastly we have OE. Next naman natin, tinatawag natin central angle. Yung central angles naman natin is the angle formed when you uh, join the center and the two consecutive vertices. Example nito ay yung ating ito. One of the central angles is angle AOB. Yung tinutukoy natin dyan ito. We have angle AOB. Ano pa yung mga central angles natin? We have angle BOC. Ito naman siya. BOC. And we also have angle COD. We have angle DOE. And also, lastly, we have angle EOA. 
as long as yung nasa middle level nila yung mismo ano natin, yung mismo center natin. So, sa part na to, I explained the difference between the convex and concave polygon and I already mentioned the different parts of irregular polygon. In the last part of our video, I'll be giving you the different types of polygon depending on the number of sides of irregular polygon. Now, let's go with the different types of polygon. Kanina, we have the classification. The first way on how to classify it is by uh, the measurement of the sides and angles and those are the regular and irregular polygon. And next naman natin, we have the next classification which is yung under naman ng convex and concave polygon. Now, for the types of polygon, types of polygon are based on the number of sides of a polygon. The basic or the first type of polygon na meron tayo ay yung tinatawag natin triangle. So basically, syempre alam naman natin that the triangle is, uh, has three sides. So kung meron siyang three sides, automatically meron siyang three angles. And for the number of diagonals, that is equal to zero. Okay? Next naman natin, we have the quadrilateral. This is a type of polygon with four sides or it is a four-sided polygon. So we have four sides and basically it has four angles. And for the diagonals, we can draw two diagonals in a quadrilateral. So pakita ko lang sa inyo bakit zero yung triangle at bakit two ang quadrilateral. This is your triangle and this is your quadrilateral. So imagine, uh, you can draw a diagonal when you connect two non-consecutive vertices. So example ito. This one, this vertex is to be connected here. This one is an example of diagonal. One. And ito rin, one din. But, for the triangles, when you connect this one to non-consecutive, lahat kasi ay consecutive niya. So, we will not be able to draw a diagonal in a triangle. So, that's why zero siya. And for the quadrilateral, we can draw two diagonals. So, let's move on. For the next type of um, polygon, we have the pentagon. So basically, this is five, a five-sided polygon, and this one has five angles. And when it comes to the number of diagonals, this one is equal to five, okay? We have five diagonals to be exact. And for the hexagon, this is six, and this is also six for the number of angles. Yes, sir, how about... Um, the number of diagonals. For the number of diagonals of a hexagon, this is equal to 9. Okay? So, meron na tayong pattern. Dito tayo, this is, for heptagon, this is 6. Ah, sorry, this is 7. And for the number of angles, this is 7. And for the number of diagonals, as you can see, uh, from the quadrilateral to pentagon, nag-add tayo ng 3. And for pentagon to hexagon, nag-add tayo ng... Four. Now, to, for you to came up with uh, the diagonals of a heptagon, mag-add ka rito ng 5. And that will give you the answer of 14. Tama po ba? 14. And next, for the octagon, we have 8 sides because octagon is an 8-sided polygon. You have 8 angles. And to came up with the number of diagonals inside the octagon, uh, that is six, uh, 14 plus 6, that will give you 20. And for the nonagon, this is 9. And this is also 9 for the number of angles. And to came up with the number of diagonals, you have to add here, this is plus 6, plus 7. So this is 27. Okay? Next, for the decagon, we have here 10 sides, 10 angles, and plus 8. And this one will be 30. Five. Okay? And for the decagon, okay, this is a 12-sided polygon. This is 12 sides, 12 angles, and for the number of for the number of, of diagonals, this is 54. And for endgon, yung endgon naman natin, kasi ano na, um, mahirap na pangalanan yung, yung polygons kapag tumahas na yung number of sides. So for example, ang purpose na sa nito, Yung N na yun is the number of sides. So we can have 13 gone. You have 14 gone. Depends on the number of sides ng ating polygon. 
And para mahanap natin yung number of sides nila, syempre yung sides nila, depende sa number of sides nila, diba? N yan. Tapos yung angles nila, N din. And for the diagonals, yung formula natin is N times N minus 3 over 2. Para mahanap natin yung number of diagonals. So I hope na para tutunan nyo yung uh, definition ng polygon, uh, classification of, of polygon, we also have the different parts of polygon and the different types of polygon. So I hope that I appreciate your lesson natin. And if you have any suggested topic that you want to discuss within this channel, please comment down below para makita ko yung gusto nyo gawa natin ng video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher God. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!